Hi everybody, welcome to Monica Barnes Art. I am doing this 24 by 10, or wait, I don't even know. I know it's 24 by something, maybe 16, whatever. Anyway, this is the canvas I'm doing. It actually has a clear coat of resin with a little bit of gold in it that I sanded. So it is all ready to go and I wiped it down with alcohol. Today I am using the color Cottage Star White emerald green this is a new color i can't wait to try um green meadow and silver mist so i'm gonna get started i am using east coast epoxy today one to one i'm gonna stir in my colors i want a lot of this silver so pretty much gonna fill my cup up with this And then I'm going to stir that up. My green meadow. I didn't want that much. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I swear sometimes. <laughs> Emerald green. Very pretty. Can't wait to try that one. And my white. Now I want a lot more silver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the canvas up with silver. And then just do like a green, different greens coming up with the white. I am saving a little bit of clear in my cup. Usually I'll put it, flip it over on my board, but I'm not sure if this is how this is going to work. So I got to put my face mask on to mix these colors up. I always have some type of mask on, usually. And I have the fan blowing out the door. And today is a beautiful sunny day. I'm just going to pour all my silver on. For me, the easiest thing to do is just go for it with my glove. I have two pairs of gloves on for a reason. This is the silver mist. Okay, now I'm going to get my emerald green. Hopefully I mix it up really good. I mix it up quite fast. No, actually I'm going to get my light green. And I'm going to outline my weight with this. I'm going to add just a little bit more weight here. I'm going to heat it up with my torch and pop all these bubbles. And there's a lot of them.
This will actually give the silver a little bit of texture by just getting real close with the heat gun without burning it. There we go. Hair. And I got my hair up. Why am I always getting hair? I don't know. But I am. I'm going bald, you guys. You know what? Before I call it a day, I'm going to get my clear. And I'm going to drizzle from high up. Very high up. The higher you go, the deeper it will sink down into your color. And create like a 3D effect. And we all like the 3D, right? Yeah, I think it just needed something, and I think that might be it. Keep going. Little drops here and there. I think, I know my table's uneven because everything keeps going to the other side. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so I really like this effect, so I'm thinking about putting it up here, a little bit of clear, to bring that into the painting. Now I'm going to stick my hand in here because I just want drips. I don't want too much of anything. And I definitely don't want that webbing coming out like that. Pour a little bit higher. That way it can. Go point more, maybe. Hopefully. I want them bubbles to look like they're coming from somewhere. There we go. That looks better. Oh, I like it. Now, now it looks like something. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> my resin is starting to seize up a little bit. I'm going to torch the top real quick and then I'll be done. I kind of like the bubbles in the green but and the, in the silver, but I don't like the top of the canvas where the silver is dripping down. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to do a second coating and take that out. Yeah, that part right there. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. So just so everybody knows, um, not happy with that part, but I love the drips in the green. I think it makes it look really cool. So if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.